At Great River Energy, they recognize that the cheapest and cleanest kilowatt hour is the one they don't have to produce. So when Great River set out to build a new corporate headquarters in Maple Grove, Minnesota, the state's second largest electric utility was determined to erect one of the most energy efficient and sustainable buildings in the world. Because they're in the business of energy production, they wanted to make themselves an example of how you can use less energy. It costs more energy, it costs more money these days to make energy, so they wanted to show as a business how you can conserve that energy. And what an example it sets. It is the first building in Minnesota certified LEED Platinum by the U.S. Green Building Council and one of fewer than 100 buildings in the world to receive the distinction. The building consumes 50% less energy than required by state code, generates 15% of its own electricity with solar panels and a wind turbine, and saves nearly $90,000 a year in energy costs. From the very beginning, the design team was charged with four objectives. The building had to function as an educational tool on green building. Great River Energy's commitment to renewable energy had to be clearly visible. It must include at least one truly innovative design feature, and it had to be a state-of-the-art building in energy efficiency. Achieving those objectives required an overall approach of incorporating passive efficiencies into the building's design, beginning with the underfloor service distribution system developed by Tate, the leading authority on raised access flooring. That was one of the goals, to make the design be efficient, but also the technologies to be efficient. Using a raised access floor definitely promotes uh, efficiency, it promotes flexibility, and it promotes uh, a healthy work environment, which are all three things that uh, owners and clients are asking for. The underfloor system is key to creating one of the building's most noticeable and pleasing features, the abundant use of natural lighting. We are able to uh, increase our ceiling heights here in the building, which allows more daylight to get into the space. Uh, what you're doing is you're, you're using natural daylight to illuminate a space. When you have natural daylight and the use of daylight sensors on lights, those lights can be dimmed, and so you're using less energy to illuminate uh, that light. But you're also uh, saving energy by not having to cool that space, because when a light is turned on, it gives off heat, and so you're saving a lot of energy in multiple ways. The building's geothermal system uses the relatively stable water temperatures at the bottom of adjacent Arbor Lake to warm the building in winter and cool it in summer. And the underfloor system not only distributes electrical, data cabling, and other services, it also acts as a plenum, gently delivering conditioned air through adjustable floor diffusers to every occupant in the building. Underfloor air systems in this kind of a building play a major role in, in saving energy, both fan energy, but also the fact that we can distribute air at a higher temperature. Um, the HVAC system, therefore, becomes far more efficient. And uh, with, with proper design of the displacement systems and the type of displacement diffusers we're using, uh, we only cool and ventilate the occupied zone of the building. Using the underfloor system for air distribution requires a tight plenum seal, especially at the edges, where walls meet the slab or raised access floor panels. Conduits and other service distribution poke-throughs are also critical, anywhere air can penetrate the plenum wall. So we talked to the Tate suppliers and found that they had some really innovative details of how to seal off the wall penetrations. The details were very important and I think we followed them and we have a successful project because of it. In the construction phase, the underfloor system can be installed rapidly. It was very impressive the way everybody worked together and, and the uh, floor itself went in very smoothly and the guys did a great job with the layout and, and uh, all, the, all the work that had to work in and around all the different areas. So it went very smooth and, and quickly and it provides maximum flexibility in the workspace. As you can uh, move your, your mechanical systems, your electrical systems around and the walls and that move around much more easily. So if you've got, uh, need to add offices or change offices from, uh, to conference rooms or the like, it makes it much easier and, and faster. 
Once it's installed, the underfloor system creates an indoor environment of unparalleled comfort. Each workstation is equipped with a floor-mounted diffuser that gives the occupant personal control over the amount and direction of airflow to their space. Conditioned air flows gently into the workspace through the floor. As it's warmed by occupants and equipment in the workspace, it rises and then exits through ceiling vents to be reconditioned and recirculated. The experience has been excellent. People are uh, enjoying the building. There's an energy when you have people that are happy. There's no frowns in the building, let's put it that way. We're not getting calls that I'm cold, I'm hot. It's that we're enjoying the building and it's sort of the people that actually visit our building enjoy the building too. Flexibility and comfort add up to satisfied facility managers and employees at Great River Energy. They designed the system so that it can be laid out and then we can move offices easily and also get 25% more airflow into our, in our, our system. And then when you get more airflow or fresh air, your employees feel better and more comfort and more productivity. Maximizing energy efficiency, improving indoor air quality and overall building comfort with an underfloor service distribution system that readily accommodates change. At Great River Energy, they're proud to serve as a blueprint for sustainable buildings here at home and around the world.